Hey everyone, Dr. Chris here, and in today's video, I'll be talking about something that is very close to my heart as a GIS professional, and that is something that every GIS person should be doing with their data when they send it out to clients or internally, especially if it's out of your geo database in ArcGIS Pro. So without further ado, here we go. All right, here I am back in the office and I'm going to talk about the one thing that drives me nuts that you people out there as GIS professionals should be doing with your data before it goes out or even internally. And that is file naming. I get a lot of things that come into the office that look like this. It doesn't tell me anything. It just says boundary dog shape. I know you sent it to me. I know you were talking about boundaries, but one, it doesn't tell me where it is. It doesn't really tell me a boundary of what it is. It also doesn't quite tell me the date that it is. Now, of course, you can put all this stuff into metadata, but how many of us really do metadata? If you're doing this with your files and naming them like this, there is no way you are doing metadata. So, long story short, if you're naming your shape files like this, no, 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 no. No, stop naming files like this. I'm gonna show you a little bit more of a robust way to name your shape files right now, especially when you send them out. Here we go. Here is a nice robust way, basically robust way to name your shape files. Boundary main PR19, 1901-09, NAD83, Z11, ZZ11 North. Now, what do all this, what does all this stuff mean? Very basic. The first thing is what it is. In this case, it's a boundary. It's the main boundary. You can call it whatever you like, as long as it is reasonably descriptive of what is in your shape file. Next, I call this a project code. Now, this is of course optional. I use this because I have, I have consistent naming across almost all my projects. That means I've got a main boundary in project one, project two, project three, project four, project five. This way, if I get mixed up somehow, I'll know that it is main boundary of PR19, project 19, or whatever abbreviation you want to use. Next, I use a date created convention here. That's 190109. That is 2019, January 9th. Of course, if the date rolls over in approximately 81 years, things might have a problems, but I really don't think you'll be using my shape files in 81 years. This way you can keep versions of the shape files that you're using. In this case, you could have main boundary 1901, 10, 11, 12. This way you can see your progression of data as you send it out. It says optional, but I don't think it's optional. It is good for versioning. And of course, at the end, what do we have? The datum and the projection. This is not optional. You need to be putting this in your file names when you send the data out. Otherwise, if something happens to the file, you don't know where it's located. This way, at least it's stuck in the name forever. So make sure you do this. Name your file names properly. And that's really all I got to say for file naming. That was just a very basic way to make sure that people know what data you are sending them. If you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, add me to LinkedIn, or even better, share my videos through your networks. Till next time, I'm Dr. Chris. Keep rocking.